This video is for Bill and all of his followers and anyone interested over at OCS 101, the occult science 101 arc.com. Um, he's banned me in the past, but this video is not any anything uh, derogatory. This is just a show of support uh, to confirm a lot of his information. I've been wanting to make this video for a while but i've had a hell of a time recently i'm actually homeless and that's why you might be able to see that this is you know on a phone doubt you can see that i'm recorded at mcdonald's but that's beside the point so let me show you what or let's help to confirm some of uh bill's information this is the OTO, and as it says, it's uh, like Freemasonry, at the, more towards the bottom there. It seeks to instruct the individual by allegory and symbol in the profound mysteries of nature. Okay, that's just a basic introduction uh, into the OTO if you're not familiar with it. And this is where the dots start to hopefully connect a little bit more. Um, this is... Reflections on the Ninth Degree, okay? The supreme secret of the OTO is sacred sex. Now you have to know that the OTO was started, uh, or was taken over at one point by Aleister Crowley. If you know who that is, it'll make a lot of more sense. He influenced um, the Beatles, David Bowie, you know, a lot of people. Um... This, okay, the physical substance of the Philosopher's Stone here, it's saying, is the, is, is the obtainment of the commingled sexual affluent of the participant, male and female, infused with energy. Okay, the substance is then to be ingested by and absorbed through a bodily membrane. Some say the roof of the mouth and the walls of the esophagus the proper men brain blah 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 yeah, yeah. you hear what it's saying it's they're eating the the sperm and the vagina juice but that's not that's not all that's just the ninth degree let's let's see what's next this is from a slight description of the 11th degree Kenneth Grant's uh, uh, degree is for the priest and the priestess Wait, where is it? Oh, okay, down here. It's the 11th degree OTO is a rite which employs sodomy, either with a man or a woman. All right. And let me show you a little bit more, because this doesn't say it on this particular website. But before we go there, remember I was talking about uh, symbolism and allegory. Here's some of it. Like, so we have the Eye of Horus. When they talk about that, that's talking about the ass, the anus, right? The blind eye that weeps, this is the phallus, right? I mean, this is confirmed on the OTO's site right here. So when you see where they talk about the the blind eye that weeps, there's the, the sun, right? Or the eye of the sun with its rays coming out. Back to what I was trying to say. Here's where it gets a little scary. I'm talking about the 11th degree, right? Let's see, Crowley. I am inclined to believe that the 11th degree is better than the 9th degree. That's from Crowley. So he's saying, well, this is better than the 9th. Which, remember, which is eating up the commingled and sexual juices of the male and the female. Right? Remember, and there's a reference to the eye of Horus. Remember what that is? The asshole. It's superior to the mouth of Isis. Right? The woman. Okay, look. And here we go. It's a, from a diary. Shower, about a boy showered with foaming seed. Again, this is allegory and symbolism. It's about sperm. Right? And then here it goes. Uh, 
it, it talks about it right here. While the priest thrust his thyrus between boyish buttocks, all is accomplished. Come, holy dove. So right there, they're even telling you, like, there's another code word. The holy dove is similar to, see how they capitalize I of Horus? These are code words for their bullshit. I can't find it uh, exactly right here, but actually the, the 11th degree also requires uh, blood to be mixed. It might say it in here. I'm just trying to be quick. It has to. It's the mixing of uh, blood, sperm, and uh, some. some oh, okay, here we go. The 11th degree, isolation and right. And mucus, or small amounts of blood, mucus, and that that uh, sperm contains mucus. But you could also, you know, obviously these people are sick, so who knows what they mean by mucus? Really, probably is just snot and shit right in there. I mean, who knows? It's and they make uh, cakes of light. If you want to look into that, I don't really want to, but I've come across it. Cakes of light, and that they put this kind of chemicals and weird combinations in these cake rice rice cakes and make a type of Eucharist. It's like demonic shit, you know, that they they pervert and totally invert the the gospels and what, what Jesus did and the Bible and just do the opposite. It's it's sick. But anyway, so I'm just confirming look this is what what he's been saying for a while. I mean, I don't agree 100% with everything that, that Bill says or, or his views. Um, but then again, it might just be a miscommunication or misunderstanding on one of our parts. Uh, that's why I've always, you know, was trying to get his attention with some of the stuff that I did, and I guess I did. <laughs> Not the best way, right? I guess getting banned sure got my attention for a little bit, but... I've also was banned from YouTube, so back when he had his account back in the day, so haha, I got his attention a couple of times. No, I'm just joking. And uh, to the others, you know, here here's some of the proof. Um, it's a lot deeper than this shit too, but this is where you can start to investigate. And it explains a lot of this this weird ass shit with the um, pizza gate and all that. Is it perversion? Yes, but it goes deeper than that. Is it's a type of sex magic? Here is the proof. You know, you can look up these articles, and then you can go read from the, look the Equinox right there. Is a uh, that was a magazine that Aleister Crowley published. I think it's more. It would be almost considered a book now, you know, because it was pretty thick for a magazine back in the day. But the, yeah, or, or it would be considered thick for a magazine nowadays. But either way, the point is that you know, uh, it's not hidden necessarily. Um, and people have to try to. I hope people understand as well that the Freemasons are different than some of this. Um, the, these groups, the OTO and other, and the Illuminati, as people want to call it and all that, some of those people might be Freemasons, but that doesn't mean all Freemasons are, are bad. I mean, that, that's a side note, but that's just something to remember about everything and every organization throughout life is that just because there's a few bad apples doesn't mean they're all bad. So tr don't try to judge any organization just be, you know, based on one person. Now, if that's their code of conduct, as is clearly evidenced right here, it's w written, and we can go look it up elsewhere in their books and the magazines, which is an official publication. There's no question, no one's going to deny that that's Crowley wrote that. He said he did. So it's all sick. There's the proof. I got to go for the 10-minute mark.